All right, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to use an edge finder to edge find your X and Y axis and how to use a DRO. The edge finder basically is a half inch shank with a 200 thousandths offset head on it. You put your edge finder in your Jacob's chuck, turn on your spindle, drop your quill down, and you move in the X axis first. Move it over till you see it actually start to make this part look like, make the edge finder look like one part. And keep moving until you see it all set. There's two different ways to set up an edge finder's location on the DRO. One way is say X.1 minus set. And it, that takes care of one half of your edge finder because your edge finder is 200 pounds in diameter. The other way a lot of people do it is they move over in Y, bring down your wheel, crank it over as your part, as the edge finder touches the part, it makes it look like the edge finder is one piece. Keep moving until you see it kick out the edge finder like that, bring it up, turn that off so you can hear me. And, but here you can say Y zero set. Move over a hundred thousands. And hit Y zero set again. Some people are comfortable just putting in the point one or minus point one. Some people are more comfortable doing it and actually zeroing it, moving a hundred thousands and zeroing it again. It's whichever way you choose, which is what you're most comfortable with. But now if I were to move back to X back to zero zero it don't have to be perfect. Just get it close. A couple tenths off doesn't matter. If you look down, bring down your quill, and you look down your y-axis, it's going to cut that in half. If you don't look down your x-axis, it's going to cut your edge finder in, in half. It's going to be in the center. So now you've located your corner of your part, your zero zero point, with your edge finder and married it to your DRO. Now you're ready to drill, center drill, tap, all the different things you need to do with this Jacob's Chuck and this part.